If I speak from the Southern African context, then one must look at the, the weakening of, of state institutions that normally should be intervening to ensure that, that, that poor people do not slide further into poverty. What is the case, however, is that many of those state institutions have become considerably weaker over the last few decades, and you have international organizations then determining um, how poverty should be addressed. If you look at MDG, MDGs and, and similar initiatives, one realizes that very frequently there's an attempt to come up with a uniform or universal answer um, to, to poor people's problems. And that universal solution is then applied indiscriminately across different contexts. Now, poverty won't disappear, one won't be able to deal with it effectively if you do not take specific contexts into account as well. And so that would be the argument of the organizations I work for um, at the University of Pretoria in South Africa, that context-specific solutions are what would be required. And they're very important that the people who are supposed to be the beneficiaries of, 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 of poverty relief that they should influence the programs, that they shouldn't be the recipients of what other people think is important for. I, I think that one of, the, one of the, 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 the solutions, or at least what one has to bear in mind when one looks at solutions um, to, to the short term and, uh, and or mid and long term uh, strategies to eradicating poverty. One should see po poverty as being a result of a whole array, array of factors um, and that all those should be should be borne in mind when one wishes to work on strategies in fact to, to, to deal with poverty. Um, for so for argument's sake one cannot purely look at income and, and think that one if one addresses income that is substantively dealing with the issues um, of poverty or the or the consequences of poverty. What one should ra rather look at also is the, the whole constellation of factors around around issues of, of income that determines poverty. So we know that there's a that there's a there's a very close relationship between access to health care, access to education and and whether people are de defined as being as being poor or not poor. Um, if one looks at the work of, of Amatya Sen, uh, then, then one recognizes the value then of, of looking not only at income, but also looking at a multiplicity of factors, such as those that I've, I've just, just mentioned. The minute, I mean, uh, and one obviously, I mean, following on from, from what Sen says, one has to look at poverty as being a deprivation of, of access to opportunities. Um, um, which then, I suppose, to a certain extent, curb people's freedom, the freedom to, to, to actualize themselves, to be what they want to be, um, and to move in the, the, their lives in the direction that they would want to move their lives. I, I, I think I've, I've, I've answered that question to a, to a certain extent. I think one of the big, big flaws of the um, of the MDGs that's, uh, and that had been identified by many people um, is is the fact that 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 many uh, many of the initiatives um, had tried to come up with solutions a one size fits all solution that would that would be applied across different contexts no matter how diff different these contexts um, are. Um, and, and in order for, 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 for the post-MDG period and for, for similar initiatives to work, one would have to, whoever implements interventions, would have to, to look at, at the differences between uh, a con context. Um, for argument's sake, that if you define poverty objectively as, um, as a two, $2 a day and extreme poverty as a $1, um, a one do dollar a day issue. I mean, it's, it's a very crude, crude definition. It's a very crude way of is, uh, assessing poverty, and one in fact needs to to to, to look at the whole context, um, as I've indicated uh, previously. In principle, I, I suppose the the social protection flaw is 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 a, is a useful is a use, useful me mechanism. But as argued earlier to today, um, one would also have to look at the preconditions for the success of 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 the social protection flaw before it is widely implemented.